it's almost as if you could design a vehicle specifically to uh, generate uh, electricity. Yeah. You could put one right here. Yeah. You could probably put one right there. <laughs> in fact, if you didn't have these gears in there, yeah, you could put another generator right there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. In fact, I could probably put seven or eight different generators. Yes. All designed to produce electricity. Mm -hmm. And it's possible that when buying one of my vehicles, oh, that uh, it would produce enough electricity to pay for your actual purchase price yes. in approximately 10 years. Yep. Now, you don't think these little electric generators that um, generate electricity are expensive? Yeah. But I'm going to manufacture them. Yes. And if necessary, I'll remove every automobile manufacturer of the world. Mm. Because you're upsetting me. <coughs> you're upsetting me. Now, we have what's known as the shaft, don't we? Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, since the pontonic is a fluid drive. Yeah. Uh, I thought I'd use a little electric motor to get it going. Yes. I could put a wobbler in where the actual uh, engine is. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Generate a little, a little electricity to get her going. <clears throat> Put an electric motor on the pontonic so as to give you that, that push necessary to go from start to approximately 25 miles per hour. Yes. And then as you're going, the fluid's moving. Yes. And I put uh, I put four different little electric generators. Yes. And then I put them on the shafts of the individual drive shafts. Yes, it does. And I'm producing maybe twice to three times the amount of electricity that I 